What's up, guys? Welcome to another Mic Drop Mentorship. My name is Casey Coleman, physical therapist and one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind. This is where we help you get into PT school without wasting time or money. What's going on, Pauline, Robin, um, Jennifer, Andrew, Tyler, Clarissa? What's going on? Thanks for joining, guys. And on this Mic Drop Mentorship, I want to talk about stepping your game up because the people you're going against, I don't want to say going against, but the people on the other side have been studying you for years. Like they have been studying you for years. So if you're new to us, mic drop mentorships are where we come in a couple times a week just to give you value, just to give you gems, to help you on your way uh, to get into physical therapy school. Because we know it's hard. We know it's tough. We know you have life going on. So maybe just this little change in perspective can help you in some way. So if it does, tell your friends, uh, tell your classmates uh, to follow pre Team Ryan. So on this topic, a lot of times we get this message, or even myself included, so this is what happened to me and what I was thinking the first time I applied. I was like, man, just please trust me. I can do this. Like, let me in. You don't know how good I am. Please, if you only knew, just trust me. I can make it through PT school. I got this. I got this. You don't know how hard I'll work. I'll be in my books every night. I'll, I'll be studying every minute. You know, I won't even sleep. I won't even eat. I'll be studying. That's how much... I care about PT. That's how much I'll get into PT school and, and kill it. And there, and what's happening on their side is there, they have extensive data on you. They have studies that have been going on for years, tracking how pre-PTs do once they get into PT school, all the way up till they pass the, um, pass the NPTE, the National Board Exam for Physical Therapist. And they're looking at all these studies saying, okay, Casey's telling me to trust him because he can just do it, right? But I have years of data saying this student who presents like this in their prereqs, well, this is what they'll be like in PT school. Uh, I have a student with, you know, years of data saying if they do this well on their GRE, they'll do this well in PT school on their boards. If they do this bad in their GRE, they'll do this bad on the NPTE. So I've got burned before. They're saying I've got burned before. Somebody told me to just trust them. And I did. And they ended up failing out. Somebody else told me to just trust them for their GRE. And I did, and they ended up not passing and hurting our school. So what's happening really is they're in the game. They've been studying you guys for years. They have extensive data on you, on, on well, most likely me and people who came before me because these studies I've read were a couple years ago. They're saying and saying, okay, these are predictors of success. But then Casey's telling me to just trust him. Mm, you see the dilemma they're kind of in? And I'm not saying, of course, stats aren't the only thing. GPA is not the only thing. GRE is not the only thing. We all get that. But at the same time, we do have to understand how they're thinking. We do have to understand how they're playing the game in order for us to stand out better. We do have to understand how they're even going about this and what they're even basing this off of so we can talk to them at a higher level to, quote unquote, stand out as as many people want to do, right? So if you want to stand out, you have to be at their level. You have to at least understand where they're coming from. So they have, extensive, they have extensive studies on you where you are basically the prime subject of their experiments. They have studies from everywhere um, on do, uh, do um, letters of recommendation even correlate to how well people will do in PT school. They have studies on do observation hours even matter? Like does a bunch of observation hours mean they'll do better in PT school or not? They have studies on what's a good GPA predictor of how well they'll do in PT school. They have studies on how well uh, the GRE predicts how well they'll do on the NPTE. Like, they have this data. Like, these are smart people, guys. Like, these are PhDs. These are doctor of physical therapy. These are people who have been in the field for 20 years, 30 years, 15, 10 years. Like, they're just not making this stuff out of thin air. They're just not saying, okay, we'll pick Patrick. We'll pick Warren. Oh, I think Jennifer looks nice. We'll pick her. No, they are basing this. Like we are in a research profession. So you cannot come to the table like I did just saying, please trust me. I can do it. You have to come with something more powerful than that. Or you have to at least talk to them on their level because they have this. Like March Madness is going on, right? So let's just say Michigan State just beat Duke. I don't know when you're going to be listening to this live. You'll be like, dang, Casey's so old. How, whenever you're listening to this live, Michigan State just beat, I think it was, yes, it was Duke. You think Michigan State was coming to the table empty-handed? Hell no, they've been studying Duke all year long. They had film on them all year long. They have data on them all year long. They know exactly what Duke's going to do. They know exactly the offense plays they're going to run. 
They know exactly the defensive schemes they're going to try to do. They know exactly what's going to happen. So they can come to the game prepared, ready to beat Duke. And oftentimes, I'm not saying this is everyone, but oftentimes some people just find out about physical therapy and just apply. They think it's so easy. They're not prepared. And they come to the game. They come to the game and get blown the hell out because they're not prepared. This team is like the people you're going up against. I don't want to say against, but the people you're going up against are basically like right now the Golden State Warriors. They are stacked. These schools, the APTA, PTCAS, these are giants you're, you're going up against. And you're coming to the table empty-handed, not prepared, don't know what to talk about, not researching the schools, and you can't even tell me one thing that's not on the school's website. And they know everything that you're going to do based on years of data. They know exactly how you're going to act. They know exactly what grades you're going to get, predictively, of course, based on your grades. So what is, come on, you got to come with something. What's going on, uh, Marisol? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Jonathan, Patrick, Warren, I think I said what's up to everybody. Sharin, who else we got? Bindu, thanks for joining. But basically, that's what's going on. And oftentimes, the, the thing I'm hearing from faculty is, they don't really even say this, but I'm reading between the lines, is sometimes we come off as disrespectful because of how the way we're talking to them. And this really goes back to being not really prepared. So we don't do this intentionally, but like ignorance is no excuse of the law. Like we haphazardly send them an email like, yo, what's up, Dr. B? I'm just applying to your school. Can you tell me how to get in? Like, like come on, do better than that. Like we're disrespecting them with just haphazard phone calls. We're disrespecting them with not, basically everything that I would say is basically we're disrespecting them with not being prepared and we're getting blown out. Then we get messages saying, why didn't I, why am I, huh, huh? come on. You have to step your game up to get to their level. Like, you guys aren't even in PT school yet, and these are doctors of physical therapy, PhDs. These are people on, I don't want, don't, so don't put them on a pedestal. They're just humans like everyone else. But at the same time, you do have to give them respect, right? So Marisol's faculty, um, yeah, you get what I'm saying. And you can reach out to me after. I love to connect. But basically, like, you have to come, you have to come with it. Like, what do you think this is? This is a professional degree you're getting. This is a doctorate. You're not even in the game yet. Okay, some people who have gotten into PT school, you're in the game, and you can, you know, come with something. You'd be like, well, I'm in PT school, I'm on my way. But you're not even in yet, and you're not coming to the table prepared talking to people at this level. So basically, the whole basis of this is come ready. Step your game up. Because they are on the upper echelon. They know exactly what's going to happen. There are studies saying if you get below a 3 point, I think it's a 3.4 something or a 3.1, I'll have to read the study again. They know exactly pretty much, give or take, how these grades are going to pan out. If you get this on a GRE, this is how this is going to pan out. And oftentimes we're just like, why do we have to take this stupid thing? Why do they even care about that? Being in PT school now, I mean, sorry, um, being a graduate from PT school, Going through PT school, being a physical therapist now, I can tell you I know exactly why they are putting you through all of this quote-unquote shit. Because PT school is a totally different level. I don't want to scare you guys, but we get a good amount of messages saying, I have failed out of PT school, I've been dismissed, I don't know what to do, how do I get back in, what's the next steps? Like, they don't want that to happen to you. This is why these parameters are in place. This is why the game is the way it is. This is why you have to apply it, you know, how you have to apply, because they don't want this to happen pretty much to you and to their program. So that's the whole thing of this. That's the whole basis of this live stream. That's the whole basis of this mic drop mentorship. Yes, we come with the motivation. Yes, we come with saying you can do it. Yes, we say don't let, don't let anybody get in your way. But at the same time, we, I do want to give you some reality as well so you don't get smacked in the face. Make sure your game is on par with what you're going up against. I don't want to say against. I keep saying that. Make sure your game is, is at par with what's going to happen uh, with the schools you're applying to. Make sure you know exactly what's going on. Make sure you're professional. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you do your research. All the basic stuff. 
Because these people got it down pat. So, hey, come prepared. Study your film. Do your research. Come to the game ready to hoop. Come to the game ready to put your game face on. Because they got it. They've had their game face on for years. And I didn't know this until um, I did studies myself. What's up, F. Scott? Actually, F. Scott, um, you can speak to this, you know, probably better than I can um, on the education term and um, on the education um, uh, topic with this. But I didn't know this until I got into PT school myself and started doing studies on the class that was ahead of me. I had no idea they were studying us. I had no idea we were the subjects of freaking experiments. Like, I studied the class of ahead of me, uh, ahead of me based on, like, professional clinical behaviors uh, in the clinic, based on how we do in clinical settings. Uh, and I was like, oh, you study us. Oh, I thought all these, you know, thesis statements and doctorates were on just, you know, the ankle, the shoulder, neurologic conditions, cardiac conditions. No, we are the subjects. We are the subjects. They are studying you, and you can even, and you are coming unprepared. This is crazy, and I'm saying this because it was me. I'm saying this because I went through it, and the second time I did not, and that's why you know I am where I am today. I stepped my game up, and some of you are on the right track. Some of you have to step your game up. So I might not. I might be talking to a small number of people here. I might be lighting a fire under a small p- number of people's, you know, ass right now. I don't really care. But somebody needs to step their game up right now. Somebody is listening to this like, oh, yeah, I'll just apply to PT gas in October, right? That's the deadline? No. no. Like, <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Come on. You want to be doctors, right? Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. So this is just, uh, I just wanted to give you some reality. I want to give you some motivation, too. We're all about that. You can do it. You know, you, you need your effort, you need your passion, you need the right people around you. But at the same time, let's make sure we are on the right track. Let's make sure we are putting in that work. Make sure you are stepping your game up to make sure you get into physical therapy school. And not just get into physical therapy school, because I say this all the time. PT school is two and a half to three years. Making sure you are set up for a great career in the future. So, hope you guys liked it. Hope somebody out there has a light under their fire right now and is stepping their game up because PTCast is opening in July. Right now it is April. It's actually April 1st. April, May, June, <gasps> July. So you got time, but you don't. So make sure your game is on par. So hope you guys enjoy this mic drop mentorship. Uh, I know it's late. West Coast people, uh, what's going on? Um, follow us on our podcast, Instagram, Facebook group, YouTube, everything. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about us. We're just trying to give you value. We're just trying to make your lives easier. So if you think this can help anybody else, tag them in this video, invite them to the group, share it on YouTube, tell them about the podcast, whatever it is, because the more people this gets out to, the more people we can help and the more we can make this physical therapy profession better. So hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you on the next Mic Drop Mentorship. Take care.